because in this particular question magnetic field is not present everywhere magnetic field is present just inside this circular section. Hello students, आज हम motion of charge particle in a magnetic field के ऊपर एक conceptual question करेंगे question simple है आप सभी लोग सुनने के बाद try जरूर कीजिएगा पर काफ़ी कॉन्सेप्चुअल है इसमें आप कुछ बातें जरूर सीख जाएंगे आइए देखते हैं आज का हमारा ये क्वेश्चन ये जो ब्लू कलर से मैंने सर्कुलर सेक्शन दिखाया है ये एक सिलेंड्रिकल रीजन का क्रॉस सेक्शन है जिसमें एक यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड है बी और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सिर्फ इस सर्कुलर रीजन के अंदर एग्जिस्ट करती है मैग्नेटिक फील्ड यहाँ पर बी है और ये इन टू द्लेन ऑफ दी बोर्ड है ऐसा मान लीजिए अब क्वेश्चन कहता है पार्टिकल हैविंग चार्ज क्यू एंड मास एम एंटर्स इनटू अ सिलेंड्रिकल फील्ड रीजन एज शोन इन द फिगर सो द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज गोइंग इनटू द प्लेन ऑफ द बोर्ड लाइक दिस दिस इज अ पार्टिकल हैविंग मास एम एंड चार्ज क्यू एंड इट इज एंटरिंग इनटू दिस सिलेंड्रिकल रीजन एंड इट्स वेलोसिटी इज डायरेक्टेड टुवर्ड्स द एक्सिस ऑफ द सिलेंडर दैट मींस सेंटर ऑफ दिस ब्लू सर्कल The, this is the center point of this blue circle. This is the axis of the cylindrical region. Charged particle enters into this region like this. It has got some speed. And the question says the particle spent 2 pi m by 3 qb time inside the magnetic field. The particle spent this much time inside the magnetic field region. Find the speed of the particle. After this much time, the particle exits the magnetic field region. So, what was the speed of the particle? That is our question. I am getting out of this screen. You can capture it and give it a try on your own. Okay, so uh, if we read the question carefully, we know that uh, the particle has spent one third of its circular motion time period inside the magnetic field. If the magnetic field were present everywhere into the plane of the board, then particle would have gone into a circular path. the particle would have gone into a circular path like this particle enters into the magnetic field region at this point and then it would have gone into a circular path inside this magnetic field if the magnetic field were present everywhere then the time period of circular motion would have been 2 pi m by qb this time period is independent of speed of the particle question says the particle spent one third of this time t by 3 time inside the magnetic field region so let us assume that particle enters into a magnetic field at this point and everywhere there is magnetic field so in t by 3 time all of you must be able to understand that it must have rotated through an angle of 120 degrees so if it spends T by three time inside the magnetic field, it must have rotated through an angle of 120 degree. So after rotating through a, an angle of 120 degree, it exits the magnetic field region because in this particular question, magnetic field is not present everywhere. Magnetic field is present just inside this circular section. So if now you want to give it a try, please pause the video. Here is the solution. So this is the given situation. and as soon as this particle enters into this magnetic field it enters into this magnetic field at this particular point so the velocity here is tangential to the circular path what i am saying is uh, as soon as the particle enters into the magnetic field its velocity becomes tangential to the circular path that it is going to describe so the particle enters into this magnetic field at this particular point and naturally the direction of motion is this so this is tangent to the circular path of the particle therefore if this is tangent then perpendicular to this tangent we will have the radius of the circular path so this uh, this is kind of diameter of the circular path and the center of the circle must lie on this line somewhere uh, why not down below because if it is a positively charged particle v cross b is upward so as soon as particle enters into the magnetic field an upward magnetic force acts on it and this force must be towards the center of the circular path 
So, center is lying somewhere on this blue line here, is not it? And this velocity as soon as it enters, it is in a circular path now. So, this velocity is along the tangent perpendicular to this, this is the diameter of the circle. The diameter of the circle that means here somewhere here uh, will be the center of the circular path. So, here is the circular path. Uh, had there been magnetic field everywhere, the particle would have gone into this green colored circle. But the fact is that it starts going in circular path and at this point magnetic field is over. Uh, beyond this point there is no force acting on the particle. So, after this point the particle will go in a straight line tangentially. So, actually it will just move on arc of this circle like this green, green circle ke is arc pe move karega. और जैसा अभी हमने समझा था कि ये अपने सर्कुलर पाथ के वन थर्ड को पूरा करेगा तो ये जो आर्क है ये ग्रीन सर्कल के सेंटर पे 120 डिग्री का एंगल बना रही होगी तो ये कुछ मैंने ज्योमेट्रिकल कंस्ट्रक्शन कर दिए ये सेंटर है हमारे सर्कुलर पाथ का ये पॉइंट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड रीजन का सेंटर है और नेचुरली ये सर्कुलर पाथ का रेडियस है तो ये भी सर्कुलर पाथ का रेडियस हुआ इस पॉइंट पे पार्टिकल ने एंट्री की और इस पॉइंट पे पार्टिकल इस ब्लू रीजन से एग्जिट हो गया इसके बाद वो सीधा चला गया होगा ग्रीन सर्कल पे नहीं घुमा होगा आ, ये आर है और ये आर है सिमिलरली ये जो रीजन है ये कैपिटल आर है और ये भी कैपिटल आर है राइट कैपिटल आर इज ए गिवन नंबर आई फॉरगट टू टेल यू आई एम सो सॉरी बट कैपिटल आर इज गिवन नंबर द रेडियस ऑफ दिस सर्कुलर रीजन इज गिवन टू अस एक और ज्योमेट्रिकल कंस्ट्रक्शन इस लाइन को मैं ड्रॉ कर लेता हूं हम सभी समझते हैं कि ये एंगल 120 डिग्री का ही होना चाहिए अगर ये एंगल 120 डिग्री का है तो ये दोनों एंगल 30 30 डिग्री के हो गए राइट सो दिस एंगल इज 30 डिग्री ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज परपेंडिकुलर सो दिस इज 60 डिग्री कैन यू सी दैट दिस 60 डिग्री Obviously, uh, in this triangle, uh, we can see that this side length is equal to this side length. Therefore, it should be at least a an isosceles triangle. So, if this is 60 degree, this is also 60 degree, which actually means that this triangle is an equilateral triangle, right? So, this length AB is actually equal to radius R of the uh, blue colored circular region. I hope this much geometry is uh, clear to all of you. So, if this R is given, that means length of AB is given, you can work out the radius of this green colored circle, the radius of the circular path of the uh, particle, which is very easy to get actually. Uh, I will draw a separate diagram. AB is a line, length of which is known. C is this point. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, just pardon me. C is this point and it is, no, again I am very poor at my drawing right now. Is B ko thoda aur idhar le jate hai. Aisa kuch hai. So, this is R, this is R and this is capital R, this angle is 120 degree. So, if this R is known, we can find out this R, just drop a perpendicular. In fact, this diagram is much clearer. If you drop a perpendicular here, you can easily see that this length AD, AD upon this R, this AD upon this small r will be equal to cos of 30 degree, which is root 3 by 2. So, small r is 2 by root 3 times AD. What is AD? This length is R, capital R. So, it is half of R. So, it is in fact, r by root 3. So, you know the radius of the green colored circle. I hope I have been able to explain this. Uh, this is capital R, you drop a perpendicular and this angle becomes 60 or this angle is known to be 30. So, AD upon small r, AD upon small r is cos 30 degree which is root 3 by 2. Therefore, small r will be 2 by root 3 times AD which is AD is nothing but capital R by 2. So, 2 by root 3 times r by 2, it becomes r by root 3. So, particle is moving on a circular path of radius r by root 3. Now, all of you know that 
if the particle is having a speed v, then this must be the radius of circular path. So, from here you get the value of v. v is nothing but uh, q v r by root 3 m. This v is q v r by root 3 m and this is the answer to our question. I am leaving you with one, uh, what should I say, uh, observational question uh, which you can give it a try basically. What will happen if I increase the speed of the particle? Suppose I throw this same particle with higher speed, speed higher than this, then will the particle spend, will the particle spend this much time inside the magnetic field or more time than this or less time than this? The question is, if I throw this particle with a higher speed, will the particle spend a higher time than this inside the magnetic field or the same uh, time inside the magnetic field or lesser than this time inside the magnetic field? So, this is the question. I want all of you to give it a try. See you in the next video, but keep sharing the videos and do not forget to like the video. Thank you. Goodbye.